All right, so welcome back to more Dishonored. This is still part of the first mission. This is uh, just like a dreamlike type thing. It's basically showing me how to use the ability uh, Blink, which is just a teleport. So. You cannot save her, you cannot save her. That's some straight shining shit right there, you know? All work and no play. So the reviews are in. This game, uh, surprisingly, did pretty good. I am very sad. All right. I'm not going to read all that for you. If you want to read it, just pause it. Look at that guy. But the, uh, I wanted to clarify something I said in the first part, and that is that I understand that the same people that made Skyrim didn't actually make this. They just helped produce it. I think that's what I was trying to say. I just didn't get a chance to... Didn't get a chance to say it, so... Okay, we're not going to need mana for just a little bit, so... Yeah, I was kind of surprised to see the first part of this do so well. And uh, also, the game itself got really high reviews so far. I don't think I've seen below a 9. Out of 10, of course. I think, like, IGN gave it a 9.3. GameSpot gave it a 9. I don't know. You know, I usually don't... I, I usually say, fuck reviews. Just play it yourself. But I kind of wanted to see everybody else's opinion on this. Why did I have to just do that? <laughs> I was actually going to leave this part out, but I figured In the days that I'd follow, show it to you. Your trials will be great, Corva. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Oh shit. Use your blink power to reach the outside, all right. This is pretty sweet. This place is the end of all things. And the beginning. Alright. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this series. I know it's broken up into missions. It's free roam, but only in certain parts. Like, I've kind of noticed that after you start certain missions, you're kind of stuck within that world. And, uh, apparently no two, like, playthroughs will ever be the same. Let me hop down. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was bad. Am I supposed to hop down again? Yep, there we go. There's another chest. This is like in between the first and second mission. So if you think y'all missing out on something or not showing you everything, this is this is what I was not going to include, but I figured... All of time's uh, me. I figured why not. Nine it's seconds. pretty cool. I like that. No sentries. This is pretty badass. It's got all the different powers. What again? Blink. This one costs that. Let me go and acquire Dark Vision, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Doesn't use much mana, is it either? So. Seen a dark reveal of living beings from solid walls. Nice. Let's do it. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world. But know that I will be watching with great interest. So this part actually reminds me a lot of Bioshock. How you got the dual abilities. I don't think I've ever played one of those games on my channel, but I've played both of them. All suspicions of plague, regardless of severity, must be reported. Now, the 360 version, I, I, I think I will continue playing this, but only on PC. Look at the texture pop-in. That's not your video, by the way. That's just the shitty graphics. 
the 360 version is just not capable, I guess, of possessing. So, it's pretty bad. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart. Piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. Let me read the tutorial really quick. So that's pretty cool. Anytime I uh, click blueprints, pretty much that makes new upgrades for everything. I like it. So one of the things I really liked about this game was the fact that... Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. So originally we met him down here and that's how we got back to this area. But this, he's actually going to take me to the second mission. If you start from the menu... I think I, I feel like I'm yelling right when now. I got my stage out. voice on. If you Just start from the work. menu and you go to mission two, it starts after you're already Just on the beach. Ready to go. Past all this. Just so. give the signal. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard. Come on, pop in! Easy. Look at those graphics not popping in. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. You just take your pick. Taking that. So let me look at the primary objectives versus the secondary stuff. So the tasks right now, this is the... Okay, let me take... Hide those just so I don't get confused. Eliminate High Overseer Campbell. Alright. Optional, use the street. Okay, to get around the walls. Find em Emily and do that, so... Let's hope for the best. Yeah, this game, the, the texture popping. I think I'll continue to play this, but on a uh, PC, so it might take me a second to get back to where I was. Are they throwing? Did you see that shit? Throwing bodies off the top. Yeah, taking you down, bitch. It always pops up like you can carry them really, like right after you take them down, but it takes a second. I'm just leaving him there. Did I actually get all the loot really quick? Oh, he's un he's unconscious. Okay. Look at these chairs. <laughs> Fuck these chairs. Try and be stealthy, but how do they not see us coming up like that? I've actually read where you you can actually beat this entire game without uh, peek around. Is she... Which, where'd she go? Uh, 
Am I not... Am I just blind as a bat right now? Or did she just walk up the stairs? I think that, I think that was a girl. Look at those rats. Fuck that. Those, when those rats started eating that fool, or those two guys, I was like, holy shit. Attention, Dunwall citizens. I'm not gonna promise a perfect uh, walkthrough as far as, you know, all stealth, but the times I, I have to fight, I'm gonna have to fight. Occasionally, it's kind of nice to see that, but... I guess I'm well trained for some shit like this. Okay. Oh, shit. How many are there? There's a bunch. No, fuck that. I think I'm okay prepared for something like this because I had a lot of experience with other games. Even though people say it, it might not be like Rage, it plays a lot like it. So it's a very bright game too. I had to add some contrast in the video, just so it didn't blind everybody. What's up with this Tesla? What is that? You get past the wall of light in a number of ways. Disable it by removing the, the well oil. Climb up the crates to the right and use the roof. Why well, is just going around it? <sighs> Possess a rat. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna climb over that bitch. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't think he'd actually see me from there. Fucking hopping down. Hey, what does that sign say? Report any sickness? Okay. This is like some equilibrium, you know? All these movie references. So technically, if I'm gonna have to find a way around this, I might can just do this. Oh shit, yes. Yeah, do do yourselves a favor and buy this on PC. I don't know how it runs on uh, PS3 just yet. Ooh. I'll take that. Rat burning. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I've decided I'm gonna go up the side right here. It seems. Oh shit! It seems like the best, the best method. And it's like when it doesn't get disabled, maybe nobody else can run through that shit. You know? This is the easiest way. I found. Get past the first. Oh, so there's gonna be multiple. First wall of light. It's like bullshit. Here's another one. Fuck. Can I just go through? Oh, look. Oh, shit. Let's do it. That texture pop in as soon as each level like loads. It is brutal. I'll eat that. My mana count's a little low, but I think it'll be all right. The pistol, proximity mine, the heart. Oh, the sleep darts. Fuck yes. Part of my language, if, uh, <laughs> if I offend you. What the fuck? Alright. Combination required. Oh, well, that's lovely. I should have looked through the keyhole first. Empty bottle. No, I'm good. I could use that to distract somebody, though. Let me just... Let me keep it, like, really close by, and then... Throw that shit. There's some more rats. Alright, whatever. We should be fine. Wait. Oh, did you shit. touch Look the door that. handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. I don't think they can hear me either. I'm not sure how I'm go how like I'm gonna do this series as far as like the video lengthwise. This kind of reminds me of Mark of the Ninja. 
the way it's unclean. it's all stealth. That's nonsense. But you don't you actually have to be stealthy. With like I could probably alcohol, rush through this shit, there? but I want to make it look decent. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats to carry the place. All right. If, if they didn't see me, then that's that's good. But that doesn't make it. Oh wait, can I get that? I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes oh, than he does in the laboratory. They're gonna keep talking, aren't they? I gotta get the, you know, I gotta get that bottle. I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't Oh, shit. For it. Is he coming this way? I'm about to lean with it, rock with it here in a minute. Oh shit, yes. Alright. So they're going the other way. Where'd she go? I don't see her, guys. What? Oh fuck! Can't someone help me? I don't want to kill her. She didn't really do anything. You know? Can I jump out a window? <laughs> that would be sweet. Ah. Nobody else came, how about that? I heard you little bastard, but I didn't see anybody. Come on, come on, come on, go down, go down, go down. He's unconscious, but I definitely want to get him away from everybody else. So I grew up, when I, when I was growing up, I played games like Tenchu and uh, a lot of other stuff. It's a lot of trial and error. You got to figure out where the guards are. You know, I'm going to lay this motherfucker to rest. Here he goes. Yeah, look at him. That's, you know what? That's the perfect placement, too. So this game has a very basic concept as far as the story goes. There's not a lot of, like, flair there. But the the gameplay is what I think really helps it out a lot. Okay. Hey, little rats. Look at that guy. He's a beast. Oh, shit. Wow. Well, I don't think, like, closed doors you would think as, as this guy is trying to be... James Bond, he would he would close a door or two behind him, you know? I gotta throw a bottle. That's just what's gotta happen next. <laughs> when I play games like this, I try to be quiet. Because I don't want them to hear me. It's weird, I don't know. It's like a weird habit I have. Now, since he's like... Hang on. I'm gonna... I'll probably fast forward through a lot of that stuff. Yeah, that? fuck you, T. Okay. My way out. If I can... You know what? This guy, I don't know if he's going to turn around or not, but... If he stays like that, I should be good. Oh, shit. Ugh. <laughs> Shit. How does he not see me? I'm not that good. Come on. Gotcha, bitch. Go down to the ground. I'm not even going to try to hide that shit. It's over. Oh, yeah. I was still on the fence. Even right now, I'm still on the fence about making a complete series. I just wanted to show you more of this game. So, I don't know. If it does well, I'll definitely keep it going.